Hey boss, welcome back. This is part two of how to pack your restaurant during Valentine. Uh, on the first video, we did cover menu concepts and pricing. On this video, we're gonna cover something else in three, two, one, and here we go. Hello everybody, my name is Sham, known in the community as the responsible restaurant owner. And after 10 years building and running restaurants out of the Silicon Valley, California, I now help other people do the same. Uh, this video is about how to pack your restaurant, please, for the sake of the process. I've been doing this for years. You need you. I need you to trust the process. If you did not watch part number one, please stop this video. Part number one does not last very long, but you need to watch it before you watch this video. Trust the process. We are more than welcome to stop this one. Watch the other one, how to pack your restaurant, part one out of three, and come back here. I will be here. So you back? Good. So now that you know what your price point is and you have defined the menu and the price points, what I would like you to do, sir or ma'am, is to please go ahead and pick one item from that menu. Which item you're gonna tell me, Sham? Well, very simple. The easiest item to make, the fastest one to make, that is not that easy for people to buy at the store. You know, do not choose an item that is so easy to make at home that uh, it's it's not gonna get people excited pretty much. I need you to pick one item. You're the boss, you're the chef. If you do not know, please do talk to your chef and tell them, hey chef, what is the one item that is the easiest one to make that we're gonna be having part of the Valentine menu? If you have not defined your Valentine menu as of yet, once again, please do go over video number one. We do cover lots of suggestions on what you can do to make it a winning night for you. So I'm gonna give you some time. Think about that item, you know, it, you can change your mind about it, but this is just to get your creative flow started. What is that one item on the menu hmm, that we're gonna be featuring that is easy to make, delicious, and that's uh, pretty much a specialty of my resort. What is that? Take your time. I'll be here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get that item, right? Okay, now what I want you to do, part number two of this training, of this process actually, is I want you to spend, mm, I would say four or five paragraphs, maybe more if you can, how you can describe that item. Okay, if you were to cook it, what are the steps in order to cook it, to prepare it, and you can write this down. Actually, I want you to write them down. However, here is a trick. I need you to use sexy language. It is Valentine. Is this all going to make sense? Sexy language, tantalizing words, sensual words. You're going to tell me, Sham, you got me off guard. Man, I know how to describe my food, but literally, you want me to use like sexy words? How am I going to do that? Well, guess what? I have a good news for you. At the bottom of this video, there is a link where you can go there and download the documents. Please take your time. Stop this video. Go ahead and download the documents. I'll be here. Are you back? Okay, cool. So here you go. You have the list of all those keywords that you use, that you do need to use. Believe me, those words do work. They create connection in people's mind and they get excited about the products. Now, please, once again, feel free to ask me questions on the comment section, but do trust the process, boss. I know you're busy doing lots of things. This is taking five, six minutes of your time. Now you're going to tell me, Shao, how should I build this? Well, very simple. I would personally recommend to have fun doing it. Actually, I always recommend for you to have fun doing whatever you're doing. If you want to take on and invite your significant other to help you put it together, great. You want to give it as a homework to your wait staff, even better. Give them the list of the word, give them the item, and tell them, hey, I want you to put paragraphs together on how or using this word to describe the food item. Have fun with it. It should not take lots of their time. Even if I personally do recommend for you as well to do it because you are the main character here and I really need you to actually get it done. So that was pretty much part number two of how to pack your restaurant. It is pretty easy so far. It is still gonna get even easier down the road. You just have to trust the process. Once again, this was Sham, the responsible restaurant owner at your service. Please be kind to comment, uh, comment, subscribe, uh, reply, ask questions, tweet, whatever you need to do uh, in order to actually get 
get involved with this video. I would love to hear from you. That's what keeps me going. And uh, please feel free to visit me at www, the responsible restaurant owner. Until we meet again, remember the secret ingredient is love. And not only in Valentine, but all the time. I will see you, mm, I think, in a couple of days. Please take your time to do that part carefully. It is important for the process. To your success, boss.